So this is the Arduino IDE PLC trainer. And if you're new to this, then this is gonna be the down and dirty how to get it working and get your PLC trainer up and fast. Fast up and running, let's put it that way. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll create a new project. And this one we can just call test. The, the Arduinos are shipped with a program in them, but it's not accessible because it's actually wrote in the sketch. So you won't, you can't access that. So this is how it comes up in, initially in the beginning. If we open up our device manager, you will see that Right now, it's showing a USB on a COM10. So I'm just going to put that aside. And the first thing you need to do is don't try and connect or anything. Just you need to download the license, and I believe it's the firmware to it. So use the drop down arrow, set up for mine is COM10. Click download. And down here in this screen, you'll see that it's downloading the new firmware. I think it erases what's, what's in there first and then downloads the new. This takes a minute to go through, so bear with me. Right now it's compiling. And you have to do this on the first time. Like I said, it, inside the PLC when it's shipped, there's a, an analog program that'll cycle the lights and stuff. And that way we know that it's actually working on the trainer. So all the, all the I.O. is working, the lights are working, the inputs are working. So that way when we send it to you, we know it's a working trainer. So you have to go through this here, though, to do the initial setup. So I paused it, now it's actually downloading to it. I paused it for a minute so it actually go. Now it's downloading the license and the firmware. All right, so it looks like it's done. Downloaded successfully, COM10, zero. All right, so the first part was the the compiling of it. So this part's done. Now what we need to do is go online with it. So we first you have to set up the communications. I'll show you this. Since we had COM10 that we downloaded the sketch and the firmware to, this is COM12. Now that's there. Then that's a virtual COM port that was added. So let's move this. Active is Modbus. Properties, COM1, we'll change that to 12. Click OK, click OK, again. And now we can go online with it. If you were to do that before, down here, it'd just go red. If you try to do it on COM10, it'd just go red and you wouldn't be able to do anything. It'd say error. So now it's connected and it says no code because we don't have an actual program in it. No license, let's refresh that. Activate runtime. So let's reboot the PLC.
And to me, I, I unplug the USB cable. I believe that the USB, the five volts in the USB still powers up, and I might be wrong, but still powers up the PLC so it could, uh, and there are some manufacturers that do that. All right, so COM12, we're still on there. So now we're going to do the connect again. And now it says connected, no code. And you click the refresh and that goes away. So all of our communications are working. And we have an OK light. So now we can come up here to these are your variables. We can add um, add a program function block. We're going to do a program. We're going to do a ladder. Do something. Just to assign it. We'll sign it to the fast. Apparently that wasn't good. New program, ladder. And we just make something up fast. So this is your first ladder. And now you can, under your variables, you can set those up and actually do your inputs and your outputs. And I'll do another video later on a simple program so you can do that. But at least this will get some of you going that are having issues with it.